Today in this video, I'm going to introduce a AI powered code editor that you can use to build anything using AI, whether it be a mobile app, a full stack website, a react based project, or let's say a web app or a landing page, or even a mobile app. You can just go ahead and explain exactly what you want to build in plain English and hit enter. And within seconds, the AI will go ahead and code it for you. And now the interesting part is you can use all the latest and state of the art AI models, including the latest Google Gemini 2.5 Pro and Claude 4 Sonnet AI models right within this platform. And in this video, I'll walk you through the entire process of setting up code LLM. That is the AI editor that I'm about to introduce in this video and also show you how you can build something cool using AI. And now if that sounds interesting, let's quickly get started. All right. So this right here is the official website of code LLM. And the first thing that you got to do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to this page right here that is code lllm.abacus.ai and now once you're on this page you need to go ahead and download and install code llm on your computer and now for starters code llm is actually a ai powered ide that you should download and install on your computer just like vs code and now as you can see it says ai code editor plus assistant a revolutionary new ai code editor that helps you turn your developer productivity bundled with ai super assistant chat llm so that is yet another new feature that they have introduced that is you can now access full flood chat llm directly within code llm which i'll talk about later in this video and if you want to you can go ahead and read through the home page and find all this information and now to quickly get started i'll click on this get started button right here and sign up for a new account and now once you're logged in towards the top you will find an option that says download so you need to download the installer file of code llm to your computer and it is available for both mac os and windows so i'll go ahead and click on this download button right here and as you can see, I'm currently downloading the installer. And in my case, I have already downloaded and installed code LLM. So I'll go ahead and open it up. So this right here is code LLM. And this right here is the AI powered IDE that we'll be using in today's video. And now towards the center, you can find the editor interface. And this is where you can find all these files. And this right here is where the AI magic happens. So towards the bottom, you can find an input box. You can go ahead and ask the AI to do something or ask questions. And this is where you interact with AI basically. And now here's the interesting part. If you click on this drop down menu right here, as you can see, here we have Sonnet 4, 3.7, Opus 4, and even Gemini 2.5 Pro. So all the latest and greatest AI models are available right within the platform and now here's yet another interesting feature so towards the top left i mean top right you can find two options they are chat mode and code mode and right now we are in the code mode and now if i move over to the chat mode right here as you can see you can access a full-fledged chat llm kind of interface right here with an input box and you can go ahead and ask any questions and the ai will gladly answer it for you and now here's how you can effectively use it for example, let's say you're working on some project uh, or let's say you're planning to build something and even before starting to code everything, you can actually use this chat mode interface right here to plan everything, map out the diagrams or let's say the schema of the database. You can actually go ahead and, you know, sort of chat with the AI and finalize all the features to be included and do all that planning sessions right within chat mode right here. You can go ahead and ask your questions, clear all your doubts and do all that. I know the interesting part is. If you click on this button right here, you can enable web search. So after you ask a question, the AI can go ahead and search the web to find the information. And you can also go ahead and click on this drop down menu right here to select the specific AI model that you want to chat with. So here you have a couple of these options or you can go ahead and leave it as root LLM. And for example, let's say I want to know the latest version of Python. So I can go ahead and enable this option right here and I can go ahead and say, what is the latest version of Python? And now I can go ahead and click on enter and let's see. So it says analyzing the result. So the latest stable version of Python is 3.13.4 and it says it is released on June 3 and today the recording date is June 6. And just as to confirm the same, I'll open Google and let's search for the same. And there you go. It says Python 3.13.4. Okay. So that is exactly what the AI has told us, right? Okay. There you go. 3.13.4 exactly and next up maybe i can go ahead and ask the ai for top mcp servers for ai and let's see so there you go the ai is listing all the ai or let's say the top mcp servers for ai all the details the links and all that so that is basically how you use the chat mode and now let's say you are about to build a project and you want some you know answers for your questions or whatever be that you can go ahead and ask that in here but our main focus is on the code mode right here right so basically you go ahead and start a project and then you can use this interface right here to build pretty much anything. For example, I'll quickly go ahead and open a folder and I'll drag and drop a folder real quick. So here I have created a blank folder called as new C and I'll go ahead and drag and drop it in here. 
allow i'll click on yes i trust the others so here i have opened up that blank folder and basically what i want to do is i want to build a next.js based real-time chat application like let's say chat gpt ai powered or let's say ai chatbot like chat gpt so basically i want to build that and it is going to be a next.js based project so first of all i'll go ahead and install the latest version of next.js so i can go ahead and type npx create next app at the rate latest and maybe put a dot slash and hit enter mm, i'll select the defaults yeah let's wait so there you go next.js is successfully installed and if i go ahead and run npm run dev and hit enter it should start the development server and i should be able to access it so maybe i can go ahead and open it up there you go here we have the boilerplate page right and next up what i want to build is i want to build a chat gpt kind of a web app where users can go ahead and input something or ask something to the ai and ai interns go ahead and respond to the same and for this i'm actually planning to use the perplexity api and for that first of all all i gotta do is to move over to this code mode and inside of code mode you have two options that is chat mode and agent mode so if you want to let's say have some questions about your code base or you want some you have some doubts to clear or you want to ask some questions to the ai but not do anything do any actions you can use the chat mode but in this case we are actually planning to build an application from the ground up right so i'll switch it over to the agent mode right here and next step you can select the ai model that you want to use so as i mentioned earlier here we have a couple of these options like sonnet 4 to gemini 2.5 pro and all that for now let's keep it as sonnet 4 and now you can go ahead and explain exactly what you want to build in plain english in this input box right here and you can click on this send button right here and now i want to build a chat mode like chat gpt so i can go ahead and say so this is the initial prompt i'll give and it says build a chatbot website like ChatGPT where users can send a message and the ai response i want you to use perplexity api for the same which i will give i have already set up oops i have already set up a next.js project and you can take it up from here so this is the initial prompt i'll give and i'll go ahead and click on the send button right here okay i'll enable auto save so it says i'll help you build a chat gpt like chatbot website using next.js and the perplexity api let me first explore the current project structure to understand what we are working with okay now what ai will do is it will go ahead and analyze all the files or let's say the code that we already have within our project analyze the project structure the existing directories and all that and once it has mapped out all that it will go ahead and start building the actual application that we asked for so in this case we have an xjs based project we have tailwind configured and everything as such right now the ai will go ahead and write the code like create all the components the page page.txx file the layout.txx file create the api route connect the perplexity api and build the complete application for us so as you can see it is currently working on and it is creating all these files writing all the code and all this code that is highlighted on red is actually the code that the ai has deleted and everything that is highlighted in green is what the ai has written or let's say added and now it will take a few seconds so i'll go ahead and wait till it is done all right so the ai is done writing the code and you can find all this information as to exactly what the ai did what are the files it has created what are the dependencies or let's say the packages it has installed i mean you can find complete list of all that details in here and now it has installed the lucid react package and it is asking us to create a .env.local file and add our perplexity api key so obviously we'll have to do that so if i go ahead and open the .env.local file here i have this perplexity api key so next up i need to go ahead and grab that api key and add the same in here okay uh, all right so it has created this api route and created the chat component i mean all these things that are highlighted in red is what actually the ai has deleted or let's say removed from our code base and all these code that you see in green are what the ai has added okay and now pretty much everything is done and let me see what i need to do next so it says your ai chat application is ready and okay and next up i need to do the npm install command and also run the application so i'll go ahead and open a new terminal instance and i can go ahead and say npm install and hit enter okay that's now done and next up i need to grab my perplexity api key and paste the same in here and for that i can maybe go ahead and open perplexity perplexity api keys so i'll go ahead and okay head over to this page right here that is perplexity i'll log into my account go to settings click on api keys and now i'll create a new key all right so and i can copy the same just like that head back to uh, code llm and paste the same in here okay and paste control yes to save everything and now hopefully everything should work so i can visit this localhost address to access our chatbot so i can copy and paste it in here and let's see 
all right so this right here is the interface of the ai chatbot similar to chat gpt that the ai has created for us here we have a input box a send button and now if hopefully if we go ahead and ask a question the ai will go ahead and provide us with an answer so let's see so maybe i can go ahead and ask the ai to provide me with the top 10 latest news so i can go ahead and say list top 10 latest news and now i can hit enter and let's see what happens hopefully it works it says thinking okay there you go it says here are the top 10 latest news updates based on the search results okay and now the specific reason why i used perplexity api is that it has native online search feature enabled so the ai model can actually go ahead and search the web and then provide information exactly what we wanted and now it says trump and musk trade okay whatever that is i mean the ai has went ahead and listed and give us a small description of the top 10 uh news and maybe i can go ahead and ask for the latest version of python latest version of python hit enter and let's see all right so it says the latest version of python is 3.13.4 i mean i just went ahead and asked the ai that i want to create a ai chatbot website like chat gpt and that's about it i just pressed enter and dropped in my perplexity api key and here i have a fully functional ai chat assistant website that i created completely using ai and now if i want to i can click on this clear chat button right here so that is how simple it is right and next up let's just say i want to create a landing page for this app right here okay i can head back to uh code llm and i'll go ahead and say i want to move the app to slash app uh, let's say slash app route and create a sleek looking landing page on the root of the project okay and now maybe this time around i'll go ahead and use the gemini 2.5 pro model so you can use this drop down menu right here and click on gemini 2.5 pro so basically i want to move the current app to the slash app root and i want to create a sleek looking landing page in the root of the project and now i can go ahead and click on the send button right here all right so there you go gemini 2.5 pro is the model that we are using right now and it says i'll restructure the application by moving the files and doing all the necessary stuff so it has started by creating a new directory for your chat app and then it will move all the code to the new directory and create a new landing page in the root of our project so it will take some time so let's wait till it is done so the ai is doing its thing so let's wait all right so seems like that's done i can accept all the changes okay okay i need to install i mean I have some error in here so can't resolve lucid react maybe i can go ahead and install it once again and pmi lucid react okay seems like i need to add the legacy peer depths npm install lucid react all right so there you go so this right here is the basic landing page that the ai has created for us so here we have a landing page and if i click on this button right here it will take us to the ai chat assistant that we created and next up if you want to let's say add some other features like authentication and etc etc like a database and all that you can incrementally go ahead and ask the ai to uh, add all that features and it will work without any problem and another cool thing is that if you go ahead and click on this button right here you can go ahead and add mcp server so code llm has support for mcp servers that is model context protocol and if you click on this add new mcp server option right here you can go ahead and copy the code add it in here and configure mcp and use it as well and another thing is that within this code llm you also have this auto completion feature as well for example if i go ahead and let's say I, let's say i want to create a new route so i'll go ahead and click on create a new project let's say to do for this one and i'll create a new file called as page.tsx and inside of it if i go ahead and let's say create something as you can see ai is auto suggesting as things to do and all i gotta do is to press tab and the ai will fill it for me as you can see the ai has automatically went ahead and filled it for me i didn't i did not write anything so we don't want this one i can remove that so i can save and now if i go to let's say slash to do as you can see it says welcome to the to do app manage your task efficiently and effectively and maybe i can go ahead and let's say try to create something as like a form so i can go ahead and put a form in here and as you can see the ai is suggesting us to create a label input button form and complete the form i can press tab to complete the same or accept all the changes and now i can let's say okay we need to copy this div and put it all the way in here and now that should fix the error i guess so there you go here we have a simple form and maybe i can go ahead and select all of this 
and now two options appear that is chat and edit and now we'll go ahead and click on this edit button right here and now i can select the model obviously i'll keep it as sonnet 4 and now i can go ahead and say ui for a to do app and i can hit enter and let's see what happens so this feature is called as basic inline editing so you can go ahead and select a snippet of code and then click on the edit button and ask the ai to change make changes right there and you also have the option to select the model that you want to use as well so let's wait all right so there you go the ai has went ahead and wrote all the code for the ui of a to-do app and now i can click on this accept file button right here save all these changes so there you go here we have a fully functional to-do app so this is how simple it is. You can either go ahead and use the inline editing feature or use the full fledged agent mode right here. And now another thing is that if you click on this paper clip icon right here, you can go ahead and attach files or images and then I'll converse with the AI as well. And now if you're let's say working with a specific file, for example, I can close all of that and maybe I'll close all of this as well. Maybe I can open up a new chat and now I can put the at the right symbol and I can select all these files in my code directory. For example, I want to select, let's say this root.ts. So as you can see, I have selected this root.ts file and as and the same is added in the context as well. And now I can go ahead and ask the AI to explain this. Okay, explain this code and I can hit enter. So there you go. The AI is writing everything. Uh, okay. Defines an API route for Next.js application specifically handles the post request to API slash chat. Okay, so that is exactly what this uh, route.ts file does. And I mean, similarly, you can go ahead and build anything using code LLM. So this is how simple it is and with just one or two prompts we were able to create a chat assistant that is a ai chatbot similar to chat gpt right i just went ahead and asked the ai i want to build a chatbot website like chat gpt and i have perplexity api with me and pressed enter and here we have a finished product and in a similar fashion you can go ahead and start building it just like that and you also have this auto complete feature for example let's say const a and as you can see i can press tab and it is filled for me i mean the similar fashion you can go ahead i mean even if you're writing code manually the ai can help you complete it like predict what exactly you're trying to sort of write and then give you auto suggestions and if you want to you can go ahead and accept all this uh, changes or maybe you can leave it as it is as you can see it says const messages maybe i can click on tab to accept it and if i put a space it will then go ahead and further keep filling it and now i can take it that way as well so this is pretty much all about code llm so this is basically a AI powered code editor, like an IDE that you can download and install on your computer. So basically it is like VS code, but on steroids with added AI capabilities. And it has both this chat mode and code mode. And if you want to build something using AI, you can switch over to code mode and select the agent mode. And if you want to plan everything, you can use the chat mode right here. For example, I can go ahead and say, can you give me the database schema for a uh, users table and i can hit enter and let's see so there you go it is giving me this schema user id username email first name last name profile picture url login at i mean all the details right so if let's say you're using the code mode right here and and you're kind of doubtful as to let's say a feature that you want to implement and or let's say you want to know the best approach to implement a certain feature even when you're working in the code mode you can switch it over to the chat mode and ask the ai and you know sort of figure out what exactly what you want to do and then switch back to code mode and then you can ask the ai and take it out like that so that is pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video and to quickly get started all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below and go ahead and download and install code llm on your computer and once it's installed you can go ahead and start using it right away so this is as easy as that and what makes it truly special is the fact that you can install all these extensions and plugins that are already available on vs code right within uh, code llm and i mean you, you won't even feel like you're using a different code editor. I mean, the UI and all the settings and all the features seems pretty similar to that of VS Code. And if you have been already using VS Code, making a move to code LLM should be like a breeze. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. And I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.